Hello, 7th graders. Mr. Evans here with some conversion problems for you to practice. I have problems written out. I want you to try to solve them, then come back and watch how I did it, get the answer. So write this problem down, solve it, and pause the video, and then see if you got it right. So the first problem is 1.35 centimeters, 2 millimeters. Go ahead, pause the video, solve the problem, and then unpause it so I can show you how to do it. Alright, this is how you do the problem. First step, you want to write down the number and the units of what you're converting. So I'm going to be converting 1.35 centimeters, so I'm going to write that down. The next step is to write the multiplication sign, the line, and the equal sign. The next step after that is to write the units of what I'm converting on the what I have on the bottom. So I have centimeters here and here have to match up and I'm converting to millimeters so that needs to be at the top like that. Next is to look on the conversion chart and find a conversion between millimeters and centimeters. So I look here the length and if you scroll down here you notice that one centimeter equals ten millimeters. So I go back to the chart here I know that one centimeter equals ten millimeters. So now all I would do is do the math. One point three five times ten divided by one, and that'll give me my new units of thirteen point five millimeters. And that's how you do the first one. All right, here is the second one. We want to convert 200,000 millimeters to meters. So I'll pause the video, do the problem, and then unpause it to see the answer. All right, here's how you do it. Same thing as before. Take your number and the units you are started with and write that down. So that's 200,000 millimeters. Next step, to write down the times, line, equal sign. Write what you started with on the bottom, it's millimeters. And write what you're converting to at the top, that's meters. Now look for a conversion between millimeters and meters on the chart here. Should have it. Oh, we don't. So here we go. One meter, I'll just write it for you. One meter is 1,000 millimeters. Now you do the math. Take 200,000 times 1, divide by 1,000, and that'll get you your answer of 200 meters. These will cancel. That's all you left with was M. So that's how you know it's the right answer. All right, so that's the second one. Now on to the third one. We're going to convert 120 meters into centimeters. So first step again. Well, first, pause the video, do the problem, then unpause it. All right, first step to do this one, take 120 meters, write that down. The number and the units of what you're converting. Time sign, line, equal sign, second step. Next step, to write what you started with, the units on the bottom, that's meters. Write, write what you're converting to at the top, and that's centimeters. Now look at the conversion chart for a conversion between centimeters and meters. We have that on here this time. One, or uh, sorry, one meter, we have that. One meter equals 100 centimeters. So we can put that on here. We know that one meter is 100 centimeters. See, I put one for the meter, 100 for the centimeter because those are the units. Now we do the math. We have 120 times 100 divided by 1, that's going to give us the answer of 12,000 centimeters. We know that works because this and this cancels, and all we're left with is centimeters, and that's what our answer is. Alright, so if those were easy for you, I have a challenge. We want to convert now this last one, 12,724 grams to metric tons. So try to solve that one, and if you think you got it, Unpause the video and watch the solution. Okay, here we go. To convert 12,724 grams to metric tons, this is what you do. First, you have to find a conversion 
we're going to have to do a double one. So it's going to be 12,000. First, write that, write this all down 724 grams. Now we need to find a conversion on here that you get from grams to metric tons, but there isn't. So we're first going to have to change the grams to kilograms. And then we can change the kilograms into metric tons, so it's a double conversion. So we got to write that one down. This is going to be a little tricky. So times line, and then we're going to do another conversion, so we're two times and the equal sign. So to do our first conversion, we have to convert grams to kilograms. So put the grams on the bottom, kilograms at the top. So we know from looking on the chart over here that one gram, sorry, a thousand grams is one kilogram. So a thousand grams, one kilogram. But now we need to get our answer in metric tons. So we gotta change the kilograms to metric tons. So we're gonna change kilograms to tons. And by looking over here, we know that 1,000 kilograms equal one metric ton. So we put metric ton here, 1,000 kilograms here. Now we're ready to do the math. All this will work out. We go back through, see that this grams cancels with this grams, this kilograms cancels with this kilograms, and all we're left with is the answer in tons. So we know it'll work. So now we do the math. Take 12,724 times 1, times 1 again, divide by 1,000, and divide by 1,000. So once you do all of that math, you'll get your answer of 0 0.01274 tons, if I could write. <laughs> all right. Good luck. Use the video as many times as you like to study. Good luck for Monday.